Hey guys, hey, it's Heavy2 here. I just wanted to throw out a, a video and kind of go over some things with you guys that you guys probably don't know yet. I think it's time we uh, start discussing a little bit of the knowledge that I know. Um, and this is knowledge that um, I, I really don't know how I know it, but I know it. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and share it with you. And it does have to do with um, what's happening right now with the targeted individuals, um, light workers, things like that. So, um, basically, um, I'm gonna start off. They, they know who's, who's incarnating here. They know, um, before the actual soul enters the individual's body, they know exactly what vibration, um, it is basically vibrating at. And, you know, they using, by using the cosmos and, um, they use mediums, um, astrology, um, mediums that are telepathic and they can actually map out, um, the frequency and the direction of wh where the uh, actual soul is coming from. And so each given day, they know which souls are incarnating from which universes. And so, um, if they find that there's star seeds or if there's any type of light workers, um, they definitely, uh, they throw down a hundred percent and they get right on top of it. So they don't want to lose any, any, um, uh, any like extra, like, um, knowledge on, on anything, um, from when the child is born. Um, cause they're, they're looking at cognitive abilities. They're looking at, um, there's a lot of different things that they're looking at and they do a lot of assessing before the child is, is, is to the age of three. But when the, when the, child is first born, it's very important that they get on, on the child and find out exactly, um, how the, how the child comes out, um, which direction he comes out or he or she. And, um, there's a lot of different components that go along with it. So, um, it's very, very, um, very sensitizing and, um, they, they definitely put a lot of, uh, a lot of effort into, um, finding out every little detail they can when the child is born. Um, star seeds like indigos, crystals, and rainbow. Um, basically that depends on the decade that the child is born. Like the indigos were, you know, before the seventies, seventies and before, um, the indigos were coming in, they were incarnating here in the sixties and seventies mainly. And, um, as each one comes through each decade, you know, you got the crystal children that come in through the eighties and nineties and the crystal children are more powerful than the indigos and they keep getting more and more powerful. And now we have rainbow children that are, that are incarnating right now through the, through the two thousands. So, and uh, still incarnating now. And, um, they, they definitely want to, one of the biggest things they want to do is they want to be able to control the child and they want to cause trauma to the child. So they want to down, they want to play, bring down their vibration as much as possible. Um, what I, what I know is there's three types there's a standard, um, there's a standard, um, light worker, there's a super light worker and there's a mega light worker. Okay. The standard light workers, they, what they'll usually implement depending on the cognitive abilities of the individual. Um, but usually it'll, it'll have some mind control for sure. Cause they want to control that child. They want to make sure that they, it doesn't have any type of opportunity to, to kind of mess up their plans and, and anything that they're doing, they want to make sure that they can use that child in their efforts. And so what they'll try to do is they'll use either an MK ultra program or they'll use a, uh, some type of another program, you know, they have a, they have Phoenix, they have uh, two other ones that they use with the mind control now, I think. And, um, probably two others we don't even know about, you know, um, but they are using those types of programs on these standards. And another thing that they will do with the standard uh, light workers, they will usually have one of the people close to them killed before they reach the age of 12. So it'll either be a mother, a brother, a sister, somebody very close to the child. If it's an uncle that's really close to the child, you know, something like that, um, they will they'll find a way to, you know, cause an accidental death of that, of that person so that the child is traumatized at a young age. And what they're trying to do is they want to... Um, they want to solidify into the child's um, psyche that God is mean and God is, you know, some something to be hated. They want to basically cause hatred towards God at an early age. They don't want the God or the child trusting in God. And after the person dies, they'll usually have a handler that's close to the family or somebody who's close within the family 
um, kind of like coerce that, ch that child and kind of like, you know, basically validate um, what they what they've already felt um, about God. They'll have, a you know, some person that will actually validate it, make it even more um, solidified in their in their beliefs. So anyway, the. Um, when it gets to the, there's no, but there's usually no satanic uh, ritual. There's no SRA, uh, satanic ritual abuse um, that usually goes on with the standard. Um, it usually goes, that usually takes place within the super and the mega. So when it gets to super, then what they're going to be doing, they're going to be using obviously the mind control, MK Ultra, but they're also going to use satanic rituals as well. And they're going to, they're going to try to um, create the altars um, within the child. And they're going to, they're basically going to invoke demons within those altars in order to change and make the make the altars more powerful and it also what it helps do too is they can actually it helps them to um basically wipe the memory as well if anything happens if that personality is used um, by invoking the demon the demon actually can can like basically um what would you say kind of wipe clear whatever happened with that altar and so if there's anything that goes wrong, they can they can change things a lot more easily if they invoke a demon into each altar. So um, it's pretty sophisticated stuff and it's pretty, pretty effed up, I guess you'd want to say. But um, then then what they'll also do, too, as well, is they'll usually have the the child witness a murder of some sort. It'll either be a murder that takes place within their life or it'll be a ritual type of murder, but they will make sure that the child witnesses a murder at some point before they reach the age of uh, usually 12 to 14 years old. So um, in order to basically create the fear, create the anxiety um, and that, you know, things are serious and that this, this kind of stuff will happen to them if, if they are, if they don't follow in line. And it's just basically another way of controlling them um, and um, basically using them and um, kind of keeping them out of what, you know, keeping them away from helping other people um, and, and more in tune with helping them in their agenda, basically, with the, you know, the Illuminati and the New World Order agenda. So um, when you get to the mega, the mega is, is going to be a little bit more, it's, there's a lot of stuff that goes in with the mega. Um, there's a lot of mind control. There's a lot of deception. Um, basically, the kid from the from the day he's born, you know, um, they'll usually create some type of an illness with that child. They'll usually either, you know, they're stuttering, create a stuttering problem, asthma, some type of medical, physical disorder with the child. They want to create that right away so that the kid, you know, is already physically and um, basically physically um, having problems, you know, right off the bat physically. And also mentally, they'll create the trauma. They'll have the SRA in that, satanic ritual abuse. They'll also have the MK Ultra or the mind control programs introduced. And they will also have some type of a murder occur. Um, and typically what they will do, it'll usually be somehow, it'll be more in the kid's life, like either in the home or in the neighbor's home or somewhere close where the child is actually witnesses it before the age of 12. And um, it's, it's pretty intense. Um, but they... They will create some type of like a stuttering or asthma or something, just some type of a physical ailment that they have to struggle with their entire life. And um, what that does is it keeps lowers their vibration, keeps them um, constantly struggling in life. And um, that's what they want with all three of these groups. They want them to struggle. They want them because the more they struggle, the more the control they have over them. They can control them with medic medications. They can control them with, you know, like different types of doctors. They'll have to see speech therapists, things like that. You know, there's ways of controlling them that way. So um, they'll usually create that with the megas and they, they know which ones are vibrating higher than others. So depending on the vibration of the actual light worker that's coming, incarnating into the, uh, the actual planetary realm into the, and then into the individual, they, they know, you know, what vibration they're vibrating at and they'll just, figure out they'll have their whole entire life mapped before the actual person comes into that, before the soul actually comes into that individual. So, um, it's pretty intense stuff. And, um, there's, there's just a lot behind it. If, if, you know, depending on the, um, I'm going to say there's also, there's also what plays a big part of it too, is like, if they, you know, depending on their parents, depending, depending on what families they're involved with, you know, um, most all the families that are that are involved, the 13, there's also another 
you know, there's another, I think it's 600 and something, if I remember right. I think it was 33, I think it's 633, if I remember right, total families, but I could be wrong on that. But um, there's a lot more than just 13 families because those all tree out to the other families and those tree out to the other families. So there's a lot more members involved than you guys think. And it's, you know, it depends on the levels. Um, the 13 families are obviously the higher levels, but um, yeah, this place, this thing is pretty sophisticated and it goes, you know, way back to ancient times too as well. This has been happening since Babylonian times. Um, if you're going through this process, you're being targeted right now. Um, I feel, I feel for you. I'm actually getting ready to exit my home right now. I'm getting thrown out basically. I can't, I can't live here anymore. I'm with my wife, obviously. <laughs> And we're just not getting along. And, you know, I'm just, I'm, I decided to take the higher road. I'm leaving. She, you know, she, if I was her, I would leave. I mean, if I was living with somebody else's parents, you know, I'd be, I'd be the one leaving, not, not making the, the, the child of the actual parent that I'm staying with leave. But um, she has no problem with it. She's just, she's something else, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. But um, I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys on that. Um, I'll be sharing more with you guys later on. But, um, yeah, there's a lot to this stuff and I'm going to try to like release a little bit more and more. I'm just kind of like trying to like kind of trying to put it down in, in a type of format where you guys can understand it and, and, and in a way that you guys can comprehend what's what's actually going on versus, you know, just spewing a bunch of nonsense out at you guys. Um, this is what I know. Um, this is knowledge that I know from inside of myself that I've gotten. And so it's just, I've get, gotten a lot of knowledge coming through lately, bleeding through. And um, so I'll continue to share it with you guys as long as I'm still alive. <laughs> but um, anyway, you guys, uh, I'm not scared of death though. I'm really not. <laughs> I mean, I look forward to it, man. I really do. So, I mean, anytime they want to come and get me, I'm here. They know it. They know where I'm at. They, they fly drones over my house all the time. So anyway, uh, you guys have yourselves a good night. And uh, this is Heavy T. I'm out. Peace.